People are getting serious about literally dimming the sun. All in the name of climate change. But how serious is solar geoengineering and how terrified should you be? Let's talk about it. We are currently in the middle of a record-breaking funding round for companies and researchers looking into the likes of stratospheric aerosol injection, in which a reflective material like sulfur dioxide is sprayed into the stratosphere to reflect some of the sun's radiation. Marine cloud brightening, in which clouds are injected with sea salt to make them brighter. And Elon Musk has mused about an approach which would probably involve his enormous fleet of satellites. Sounds crazy, but it's not. Most scientists believe that the technology will be deployed this century. This year, a US-Israeli startup called Stardust raised $60 million. That is big money for the sun dimming industry, and Stardust is pursuing SAI. Except it has a plan to do it without all the known downsides of using sulfur dioxide, including acid rain and a rise in asthma attacks. While these scientists have called such claims nonsense, Yana Yedbab, the company CEO, told me that he's fully committed to publishing peer-reviewed research early next year so that everyone can have a look for themselves. Stardust is putting in the effort to legitimise its work, and that's really important when it comes to such a controversial technology with global impacts. But not everyone will do the same unless they're forced to. And the enormity of the endeavour demands that governments get involved now. I can't believe I have to say this, but dimming the sun is too consequential and dangerous to be left up to companies who must pursue profits above all else. To work, the technology must remain stable in the atmosphere for potentially hundreds of years. The average lifespan of a US company in the S&P 500 is about 15 years. That's a blink of an eye when you're messing with nature. 